How's everybody doing today? I certainly hope you're doing well. I put an email into, and I can't stand this guy. I hate this guy with a passion, and he knows it, and so do I. I put an email into Single Dad 3 on April, excuse me, on May 3rd, 2011, because I'd heard rumor uh, that uh, uh, Chang had died, and and I really wanted to know, man, what is going on? So he did send me an email back about 12 hours later, which would be on the fourth, and I'm going to read that email to you, and he stated, and I quote. The nut job saying Chang is dead says that he is Chang's family, but he got Chang's town wrong. Claims Chang shot himself with a 38 in the head, but I searched all police records for his entire area from the past week and found nothing. If a man is found dead from an apparent suicide, there would have been an investigation, an autopsy, and a police report. Then he goes on to say, Crotch vomit doxed Chang to Tesla coils. So Chang is in hiding. I'm not going to say the word because it's, you know, the F-bomb there. It says, I will never let Chang or Bubba Effect show themselves again on here without a storm hitting them for what they did to those kids. Now, again, I don't know what he's really talking about, you know, the specifics. They are both still around and trolling you, meaning me, on sock accounts. Now, when, I'm, when I read this, I'm like, I, I'm still, I don't know what to believe. I don't know what's going on. Because... As much as Chang and I went round and round, and yeah, I called him a script kitty on several occasions. You know what I mean? And we've gone back and forth, and we have, because he's, I'm going to hack into this, and I'm going to hack into that, and I got you, and I hacked you, and what, all that stuff. Okay? Like I said in my blog TV several times, I'm sure he's a great guy. He just needs a friend, or a pet, or a girlfriend. So, again, I'm at a loss. Now, my little friend, Tesla Coils, kept putting out video after video after video after video, once again using my property, which, you know, those of you that know me, I flag those and I take them down for copyright infringement. So, the guy just wouldn't stop. So, his channel is now removed because of it. I think I filed eight DMCs against him in two days. Uh, he, he just won't pay attention. However, I got the cash of one of those videos, even though the video has been removed and the channel has been deleted. I got the cash to one of those videos. And I'd like you to go to read those comments. Read those comments between Chang and Tesla Coils because all those different sock accounts are all Tesla. 98% of them are all him, talking to himself and then talking with Chang. And, and, and you'll see with your own eyes in the cash, I'm not making stuff up, that Tesla has posted Chang's phone number and his address. Now, why would he do that? Why? For what reason? Did he get this address and telephone number from Crotch Vomit? Because apparently Crotch Vomit is the, the, the plethora of information on everybody's stocks, right? Or you'd think she worked for NCIC or something. Everybody's stocks is being somehow there's a Crotch Vomit involvement. What's going on here? Why is this happening to people over and over and over again? I don't get it. Now read the comments there, please do, because his phone number, or what is suggested is phone number in the cache, is posted by Tesla again and again and again and again, so everybody can see it. And then his address is posted there for everybody to see, like it's their business, 
Like it's your business. It's not your business. Because if it was your business, why are we running around calling each other by these screen names? Why aren't we calling each other, hey Roger, hey Sam, hey Frank, hey Bob? Because it's not your business. You know, I mean, that, that seems to be the norm these days. When you can't get along with somebody online or when you have an argument with them or because they call you they call you a bitch or they call you, a, you know, a dumbass or whatever, oh, I'll get you. I'll find out everything about you. I'll contact your neighbors. I'll, I'll send DVDs. I'll, I'll tell everybody what you're into and I'll make up all this bull crap and I'll ruin your life because that's the main objective here is to ruin people's lives, right? Because somehow we can't communicate with each other online in an appropriate adult manner. Right? Is that it? Hmm? Moving right along. <laughs> now, the Anons, if you will, had put a, a uh, had put up a, um, a video, a tribute video. Now, Friday, which would be yesterday, because I got a uh, an email on Blog TV on the tenth of uh, May from someone using Chang's username on Blog TV, the the ad the lesson or however you pronounce it, they pointed me to that website. Now, I did a website inquiry on that website, and for the first time in my life, nothing came up. I had to make a phone call to get the information from somebody else in IT to find out their phone number, where they're located, and all that stuff. Now, I called that company, Tributes.com, located on the fourth floor in, Ma in Boston, Massachusetts, myself, on my own dime, on Friday afternoon. And I asked them, what are the uh, stipulations, regulations to put a tribute on their website and, and so on and so forth. What is required? Well, they require a death certificate or a copy of. So then what I did, because, you know, suddenly I got all these people pointing their fingers at me. Somehow I'm responsible for what? How do you figure? I don't think so, pal. You know what I mean? But that's not the case. What's most important is, is this true? Is it, I mean, is this real? Is, is this, have we gone from some sort of uh, fantasy on the internet to now real life? Is this real deal? Is this a prank? Is, is it a hoax? What's going on? I got to find out for me. Okay? Because, yes, I had a lot of interaction with Chang. And a lot of it wasn't that great. And it really wasn't. Always going by, oh, I'm going to hack you. Oh, you're a script kitty. Shut the hell up or whatever. Okay? But honest to God, even crotch vomit, which I can't stand with a passion, right there with single dad, I would never wish anyone ill will in real life. No way, no how. It's just not cool. Why should I? You know what I mean? Now... <laughs> Above and beyond that, I sent an email to the tributes.com to find out when the information was posted, if they could relinquish that. Then I turned around and contacted, or excuse me, pulled up the social, the social Security Death Index. There was no record to be had. However, I talked to another uh, person on the East Coast that stated sometimes it takes months for that information to get into their systems. Okay? He would know because he would know. <clears throat> After seeing the Anon's tribute video, I was, I'm, I'm still on the fence. I'm 50-50. I'm like, I don't really know because I don't know. I, I, I don't know if this is real. I don't know if it's an illusion. But I'm going to find out. And I am going to find out. Because... There's nothing worse. This is a serious matter. This is not a joke. You know? Whichever way the information came out, it is not a joke. 
It's not a joke to play with something like that, and it's not a joke if it's real. So then what I decided to do is I, I was determined today I'm going to find out the answer to this question. I'm going to find out no matter what it takes because I want to know. I want to know if this is real. So then what I did was, um, you know, um, I, I know about the area in which he resided. You know, I'd heard through the grapevines, so, you know, I used my computer skills, which is limited. I'm not that great on computers, you know. Um, and did a little bit of research. And then I decided, you know what, I'm just going to get on the phone. I'm not even going to play with this anymore. Uh, because I'm the type of cat that if I want to know something, I'm going to find out. And I'm not going to use the computer to do it. I'm going to do it through the telephone. Because that's the best way to do it, person to person, not text to text. So then, then I decided to call up the Gardner Police Department myself, in which I did. Now, the gentleman there, God love him, he was very reluctant to give me any information, but he did. All right, and he confirmed. He confirmed on April 26th there was a call put in under a suicide. It is 100% confirmed, guaranteed. This is not a joke, people. It is not a joke. So as you sit there and you conspire to ruin people's lives, you keep this in mind, man. All right? You keep that in mind. And all you people thinking about, oh, well, I'm going to drop your docks and I'm going to have aerial views of your house and your properties and... I'm going to have pictures of you feeding your dog or whatever you do. You keep that in mind, man. It's not funny. And it never has been funny. And you know it's not funny. And, and to you, Mr. Nobody Knows, about your pizza, do what you're going to do, pal. All right? Because I'm about sick of your crap, too. You know what I mean? Stop talking. Get at it. This is, this is what I'm saying. All you guys running around, you think it's a big joke. It's a big game because you can't compete in life. So you want to somehow toss somebody's information out there because you're a tough guy, right? Does it make you feel powerful? Now, why Chang did this, I really don't know. And I truly do not know. And I'm sure he was a great guy. He probably just needed a really good friend. I don't know. I wasn't there. All I know is it is a fact. And it did happen. And it's not a joke. It's just not a joke, man. And if you don't believe it, I suggest you get your ass on the phone. You make the call yourself. Because I certainly did. Because there's nothing worse than not knowing something, you know, especially if you know the person. Now, did I know him? Did I shake his hand? No, I didn't shake his hand. But I knew him, you know what I mean? And I just, God, it's just, I, I, I have to admit, my, my heart dropped when that police officer told me that it's real deal. I, I, oh man, I'm just thinking, geez. You know what I mean? I just like, wow. You know, I mean, that's, that's, that's harsh to deal with, man. It's hard to deal with. I monograph, and if you can't speak freely, you're simply not free. Have a good day.